Welcome yet again to another Sundays at... Well, home, but that was Josh's line. Oh, he's asleep. I mean, he didn't get very much sleep last night, but I thought he would have been awake by now. I think I'm going to have to wake him. leaves me no other choice. These. Oh god! Whoa! 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 What do you do that for? Ow! Well you just oh. wouldn't wake up and it's Sundays at home! Oh, well I appreciate that Rachel, but if you could next time wake me up a little bit more gently than resorting to pans, that would be great. Jeez. Right. Well, today we are talking about gentleness and particularly how God is often a gentle God, but also how gentleness is something that we can have in our lives as well. Yeah, that's right. And we're going to start off, as we always do, with an activity, which to be fair this week is going to require quite a bit of gentleness. So, we are going to play a game of this week Balancing Towers! Ooh. Okay, so this is our game of Balancing Towers. Now what Josh and I are going to do, we are going to use playing cards to try and build as tall a tower as we possibly can. Now, we're going to try and do it in two minutes and see who gets the highest. We might not get very high, but it's whoever gets the highest. But yes. Yes, okay. So you can try this at home, remember. Uh, you can try it with whatever. If you've got some cards, then do give it a try with those. You don't have to use those. You can use books. You could use fruit. You could use anything, uh, depending on how uh, challenging you want it to be, okay? Mm. So have a go at home, seeing how gentle you can be with your balancing and seeing... Mm. Uh, who is the gentlest of all yes. of us? Okay, but have a think who you think is going to win out of the two of us and we'll give it a go. Yeah, so Josh, set the timer. Okay, here Let's we go. Let's do this. Okay. okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, what? I'm not doing it yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Wow, you're like pushing the middle of each other. Oh dear, this is going already going far. Ah! Ah! It's okay! Yeah. Uh, if I get this one stood up, this will be a try. Oh, there we go. This is difficulty with making car towers. That's why you have to be gentle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just gonna be whoever can get the thing to stand up. As soon as the time goes, you have to let go. Let go! gentle people. So good. I hope that you managed to do better than us really? at home if you tried it. But if you thought that I was going to be the one to make well the tallest tower, well done. You were right. And if you thought it was me, 
I'm sorry I let you down. Terrible, <laughs> terrible. <laughs>Okay, so did you manage to do any balancing at home, mm -hmm. I wonder? Mm -hmm. And how did you find it? Yes, I'm sure you probably did much better yeah, than our attempt. Yeah, I mean, we didn't do very well. <laughs> no, I mean, it would be hard. <laughs> yeah, but it is, it's hard to be gentle and, you know, it requires a, a fair amount of patience, doesn't mm. it? But gentleness can actually be a really good trait, not just in activities like we were doing there, but actually in our everyday lives as well. I mean, Rachel, can you think of a time in your life when you were gentle with someone or, or someone was gentle with you and it made a real difference? Ooh. Yes, yes I can. Um, in my third year of university, um, unfortunately my granddad died and um, I remember the day that it happened and I had a phone call from my parents and um, we were actually with friends at the time. Uh, Jess and Chris, and they knew what happened, and they took us into their flat, they gave me a lovely um, cup of hot chocolate, Jess put a blanket on me, and I just remember for the rest of the afternoon and the evening, they just talked with us, they just were our friends, and actually, do you know what, that made a world of difference, because really they also made us laugh in that really hard yeah, time. Yeah, mm. yeah. And, that's, and you know, had they not been gentle, it might not have been possible to sort of make us laugh and happy. Yeah, so yeah. That's amazing. What about you? Yes, well, I was thinking about this. Uh, we might have to sort of delve into the uh, mischievous childhood yet again. <gasps> what? Of, of Josh. <laughs> you? Mischievous? No. I know, I know. Well, um, because believe it or not, when I was younger, I used to have a real problem. I used to lie quite a lot when I was very little. I know. It was Well, it wasn't good. It actually, what, what sort of changed my mind on that was not sort of anyone getting angry on me, but uh, angry at me, but actually my dad sort of taking me aside and explaining to me sort of the consequences of lying all the time and, and, and how, you know, trust, if you want to build up trust, mm, you can't lie good. at all because one lie can break all of that mm, down. Sure. So, And it really made me want to sort of build up that trust and, and it really made me not want to lie. So, yeah. you know, just explaining it to me really helped me yeah, out. And not because situation. he was, like, shouting at you, but no, because he was gentle No, absolutely, because he was you. gentle with it, yeah. Oh, that's incredible. And I guess gentleness is a really useful and important thing. Mm. In fact, in the Bible, it talks about gentleness being a fruit of the spirit. And if you're a Christian and you have God in your life, that actually one thing that happens when we have gentleness in our life is, you know, in Jesus, is that we become gentle in different things, in different areas of our life. Mm. Yes, that's right, yeah. And there are plenty of examples in the Bible of mm. gentleness. Uh, we often think of God as this big righteous man who Strong. sort of tells us what the right thing Mighty. to do is all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's not entirely true. The Bible uh, tells us he's a lot more gentle, a lot more understanding than that. I mean, it describes Jesus, for instance, as, as a shepherd. And it has all these sort of connotations of Jesus being this sort of gentle. You have to be gentle yeah. to be a shepherd. You have to be caring for your sheep. Mm. You have to sort of gu have a sort of guiding hand with them. Um, you know, particularly when looking after lambs and sort of the fragile creatures and you have to be sort of gentle with them. So yeah, yeah there's that. That's really cool. There's another example actually of Jesus in the Bible. Um, when he showed gentleness to great effect. Mm. In fact, he came across a woman who had done something that, according to the law at that time, if she had done it, it meant that she had to stand in front of a crowd of people and they would be allowed to throw stones at her because of her actions. And that's pretty bad. And actually, Jesus came across them and instead of, you know, using force, he actually said to the crowd, maybe think about your actions and actually you're not perfect either and to give this woman a second chance. Yeah, that's right. And, and in our lives, we can find frustrations oh, arising, yeah. you know, from little mm. things, from big things. That's okay, you know, it happens to everyone. But if mm. we start off from that place that Jesus did, from that place of understanding, mm. trying to see things, things through other people's eyes, yeah. through other points of view, we can often find that gentler way mm. to resolve those frustrations. And that's not to say that we shouldn't stand up for injustices. Jesus did in that story, Definitely. stood up for an injustice. But actually our first reaction should be to find the gentle way to solve things and often actually we might find that as Jesus and that woman um, found um, that gentleness was a lot more effective in dealing with that situation than showing force or anger would have been anyway. So yeah, That's really good so stuff. That's so cool. I mm. really like this idea of gentleness. And so what we've come up with is a few more questions for you to discuss with people at home about <laughs> this topic of gentleness to explore it just a little bit more. So question number one, 
What things do you think of when you think about the word gentle? Okay, and question number two, in her story, or in that story with Jesus and the woman, do you think it took more courage to act in a gentle way mm. or in a sort of forceful, angry way? Which one took more courage? Yeah. And finally, question number three, what example in your life can you think of where being gentle is better than being forceful or unkind? Okay, so that's it for our session on gentleness. And now we have a little announcement about Sundays at home and then we're just going to take a pause for a while. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna, you probably won't see us for a few weeks. Mm. We're gonna sort of um, take a pause while we focus on a few other things that we've got in the pipeline yep. at our church. So keep an eye on our Facebook for what things are gonna be going on at our church. Uh, but don't worry, you might see Sundays at home again, depending on what situations arise and, and what, what we feel is needed. So um, do keep an eye out and hopefully we'll see you again for another Sundays at home in the future. Yes, and if you'd still like to watch any of them from previous sessions, they'll be all on YouTube for you to look but we have certainly enjoyed sharing Sundays at home with you yeah so thank you so much again for <laughs> joining us we hope that you have a fabulous week yes. and we'll see you again very soon bye bye